Hello, welcome back to the Bloodshed. My name's Alex and this is my next project. It is a, a mini or a micro or a hobby lathe picked up very cheap off eBay. Um, comes with a Compton Parkinson motor. Um, no idea if that works or not. It turns okay. Main thing is, I'm uh, um, going to have to get it properly wired up. It's uh, only come with a, a live and a neutral. So it's missing an earth, which is something I definitely want to be fitting. Um, but it does actually have an earth point there. So I think the first thing I'm going to do is get on, actually put some decent wiring into it and then see whether it actually works. All I've done basically is just uh, added the earth on, spliced in some new wires to the existing wiring. This is not how it will be left. It will be done uh, an awful lot more professionally than this and I've just connected it up to a plug like I say this is just a temporary um, temporary wiring just to see how it goes oh. that looks and it sounds pretty good to me to be honest I've now soldered in the electrics properly into the existing wiring loom directly actually in the motor itself the motor inside looked very clean the only thing i really did was scrape off some old crusty um grease and repack the bearings in the back so that's going it's got a little sort of enclosed junction box um with some temporarily temporary wiring attached to it uh this will at a later date be um, attached to an NVR switch with emergency stop um, so that will be the security or the safety involved obviously anything with a, a rotating chuck of some kind or another um, you realistically need to have some kind of emergency stop and that is it um, I've already fitted one to my pillar drill previously um, so yes the only other thing I got through the post the other day was a new tool post um, for the lathe the when I got it it didn't have one at all this one I got with postage included was less than 15 pounds uh, it's an adjustable uh, upwards downwards um, and rotating as well so that will be hopefully a little project to add on to the lathe when it's all ready so yeah we shall wait and I shall continue with the strip down of the actual lathe. Now that the motor's all running decent, the next, gonna, next thing's going to be to basically remove the headstock uh, and the tailstock. I think I've got that the right way around. Um, and the post, just so that I can actually separate it. The, the feet are all wonky. But that really needs sorting out. As you can see, someone's kept this very well oiled, which is a blessing. As you can see as well, it seems to be a mi mishmash of uh, fixings and washers and all sorts of stuff. 
I'm probably going to have to try and source um, some proper bolts or at least some decent fitting bolts for the rebuild. It's still turning out to be a right mess at the moment. Uh, nothing is matching up whatsoever. I think this might be one of the other easy sets of legs to come off. for cracking bolts. Brilliant. I think I'll definitely have to get some new ones of them. Brilliant. Uh, another fantastically original piece. Um, but the main thing is, it's a part now. Uh, literally, I think it's just be a case of cleaning up, sand it all down, see what's underneath, give it a good coat of paint and try and get these off. <laughs> 